and welcome back Ladies to Persona. Here we go. Um, gonna shut up now while the cutscene's going on, and I'll be back with you in a minute. This is the last stop for this line. Please transfer here for all subway lines. The doors to your left will open. <laughs> Please help! <laughs> 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 Damn brat! I'll sue! What? Are you for real? A mental shutdown? It's the truth! To a person, though? <laughs> That's gotta be a joke. You really love all that occult stuff, don't you? <laughs> Sorry about that. I tried not to talk to cutscenes, but um, basically there was a lot to work back there. We understand um, why we're transferring into a new city. Apparently, by doing the right thing, that gets us arrested. So that's good. And um, we get our first clue into the, the supernatural world. Let's see. Tutorial system hints. If you're ever confused about what to do, where to go next, look at the upper right corner of the screen to move various hints. Okay. So we have to head to our new lodgings. So apparently, yep, we get arrested and we have to live somewhere else. Even though we did the right thing, that is fucked up. Let me see. But then again, it's also kind of like the Persona thing where um, we get transferred to a new school and we have to adapt to that new living system style. Let's see, starting today, Sajiro Sakura will be taking care of me. His house should be in the back streets of the residential area. Okay, we'll see if we can track that down. Talking to people, all sorts of people who live in the city, try listening to their conversations and press X to talk to them. You might learn something new. Okay, so if they get a bubble over the head, we'll give them a talk. Yes. Um, I want to ask for directions. You want to get to the residence at that address? It's in the alley a bit further back. Take your right at the apartment with the stairs. Okay, thank you, officer. And then it looks like these guys want to talk as well. Oh, is there another, um, ac accident? I saw a policeman over there. Oh, he was just watching to make sure everyone's safe. It'd be scary if something like that happened again, though. Let's hurry home. Okay, I think they said this was the house right here. The nameplate says Sakura. It looks like this might be Sajira Sakura's house. Even after ringing the doorbell, it doesn't look like anyone will answer the door. Maybe he's gone out. Looks like no one's home. Oh yeah, Sakura Sun's usually at his cafe around this time. Well, LeBlanc's in the back alley, so I should make my other deliveries first. Hmm. Next, I need to take this package too. Ah, so we have to meet him at work. Which is weird, because usually, um, we end up going to the school itself, or Persona 4, our uncle picked us up from the train station. Weird that he would make us walk. This place is LeBlanc, let's go inside. Oh, I should possibly move this over as well because it's covering up the date. Um, I'll put that down here. It's not covering up anything. A public 
Transit Transit bus was driven down an opposing lane with its customers still in it. The citizens can't live in peace if this keeps up. Oh, how frightening. What could be going on? Didn't something similar happen just the other day? Hmm. Vertical is the name of a shellfish used for farming pearls. Oh, right. They did say that was today. We'll be going now. The payment's on the table. Thanks for coming. Uh, this place is in the back alley, so there's no worries of a car crashing in here. A what now? There's been a string of those rampage accidents, you know. I just hope that none happen around here. It's none of my concern. <laughs> well, see you next time. Oh, four hours for just a single cup of joe. So, you're the guy. Let's see. So one of the major things here that I understand uh, most Persona games, we get to choose how we respond to people. And sometimes how we respond will give us certain bonuses. So I'm going to try to get them when we can. Also, some of the choices are locked off if we don't have enough guts, proficiency, stuff like that. So, um, what's not... Is sakura son here? Yeah, we'll go with that. Yeah. I'm Sojiro Sakura. You'll be ah, in my so custody over the next year. I was wondering what kind of unruly kid would show up. But you're the one, huh? Have you been told? A customer of mine and your parents know each other and... So we don't have a relationship to this guy, apparently. Interesting. Well, not that that matters. Follow me. This is your room. I'll at least give you sheets for your bed. Hmm? You look like you want to say something. Yeah, it's a piece of shit place, but it's cluttered or it's big. Let's, let's be nice. I'm not going to say it's cluttered. It's on you to clean up the rest. I'll be leaving after I lock up each day. You'll be alone at night, but don't do anything stupid. I'll throw you out if you cause any trouble. Now then, I got the gist of your situation. You protected some woman from a man forcing himself on her. He got injured, then sued you, right? That's what you get for sticking your nose in a matter between two adults. You did injure him, yeah? Yeah, but it's still fucked up. We should do what's right, no matter if it's if we get in trouble or not. And now that you've got a criminal record, you were expelled from your high school. The courts ordered you to transfer and move out here, which your parents also approved. In other words, they got rid of you for being a pain in the ass. It's best you not talk about anything unnecessary. I am in the restaurant business, you know. No, you don't say. Behave yourself for the year. If nothing happens, your probation will be lifted. Really now? It's the word that applies to you. Your sentence lasts until next spring, right? That's why you're gonna be here for the coming year. Cause any problems and you'll be sent straight to Juvie. We'll be going to Shujin tomorrow. Let's see. Um, Sujin are going where? I'm not sure what that is. Shujin Academy. The school you'll be attending. We'll introduce ourselves properly to the staff there. There's rarely a place to accept someone like you, you know? What a waste of my Sunday. Your luggage arrived earlier. I left them over there. God, we're being treated like dirt and we didn't even do anything wrong. We just did what was right. Let's see, if you're starting here, living here starting today, I should check out what's in here. Let's go ahead and check out our bed. There's a mattress here. And I guess it's not too bad. It's a desk with a stack of books on top. No one can use this desk while it is like this. Okay, let's check out our stuff. It's a cardboard box from back home. It's full of clothes and daily necessities. I'll change into more comfortable clothes for now. And let's just check around the room. Say I'm covered in dust. If I draw a line in the dust with my finger, it'll probably be really easy to see. You know what? Let's go ahead and get started and clean. What, you were imagining that we were going to start the game by fighting demons? Hell no. We are going to be cleaning our room. 
In fact, that's kind of what a majority of this game is going to be like. We are living the daily school life of a high school student, so... Of course, then there's also the... I'm not sure what they're going to call it. We had the Midnight Channel, and then, like, what was it? The Midnight Hour, and the uh, Persona 3 and 4. So I don't know what they're going to call the supernatural world in this game. It's late. It seems like I've been cleaning for a while. Seriously? What the heck? I heard you making all sorts of noise up here, but I didn't think you were cleaning. Uh -huh. Actually, this place doesn't look too bad. Though it's only natural you want to keep your room tidy. Why don't you go to bed for the night? You don't have anything better to be doing, right? I'm going to close up shop and get out of here myself. I'm going to head back. I won't be the, only, I won't be the one looking after you if you... S Get sick from staying up too late. You got that? Sleeping in your bed will move forward one day. So Sajiro is... I mean, he's looking after us, but he doesn't really give a shit too much about us. Going to bed is a special election that will advance time. Time is limited. Think carefully how you schedule before... About your schedule before you act. It's going to be very important later on if the rest of the earlier games told me anything about Persona. Basically, we are going to have time limits later on, and we're going to have to balance school life and fighting demons. But for now, we're going to go to sleep. Arrested. Trial. Criminal record. Damn brat! I'll sue! Still, I just couldn't, I couldn't just let that go. That day. I had to go home early. Oh, we are actually going to replay the events, huh? Just get in the car. Stop it! Hmm? I could hear a man and a woman arguing in the distance. I think they're just up ahead. How dare you cross me? Stop it! Let me go! No! Don't give me that shit. It looks like that drunk man is bothering that one. Help! Please stop! Jeez, this is fucked up. Okay. I can't ignore this, I have to save her. I have to save her. What a waste of time. You think you're worth causing me trouble? I'll... I'll call the police! Call them if you want. The police are my bitches. They're not going to take you seriously. No! Stop! Someone called the cops, huh? Get in the car! Incompetent fools like you just need to shut your mouths and follow where I steer this country. What are you looking at? Get out of my face! This ain't a show. Get lost, kid. See? This is all because you're so damn slow. Get in the car! Hope we get revenge on him later on. This team's kind of a dick. All the trouble he's caused us. Hmm, it's that weird app that somehow ended up on my phone. The icon almost looks like an eye. I thought I deleted it. It's so creepy. My eyelids are starting to get heavy.
Trickster, welcome to my velvet room. And yay, we get introduced to probably one of the best places in this game, well, in the series, the Velvet Room. Um, so you've come to, inmate. <sighs> the you in reality is currently fast asleep. You are only experiencing this as a dream. You're in the presence of our master. Stand up straight. Welcome. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. It is a room that only those who are bound by a contract may enter. I am Igor, the master of this place. Remember it well. I summoned you to speak of important matters. It involves your life as well. Okay, so as I was going to say, this room is very important throughout our entire journey. And the man in the center there, Igor, he is going to help us out a lot later on. Without going into spoilers, because it will be explained later on, I can say important matters or let me out. Let's go ahead and let me out. Know your place, inmate! Who do you think you're talking to? Still, this is a surprise. The state of this room reflects the state of your own heart. To think a prison would appear as such. You truly are a prisoner of fate. In the near future, there is no mistake that ruin awaits you. Let's see, ruin, or are you kidding me? Haha, <laughs> worry not. There is a means to oppose such a fate. You must be rehabilitated, rehabilitated toward freedom. That is your only means to avoid ruin. Do you have the resolve to challenge the distortion of the world? I would rather run. Wait, what? I would rather Allow avoid ruining. To I mean. observe the path of your rehabilitation. Ah, pardon me for not introducing the others. To your right is Caroline. To your left, Justi. They serve as wardens here. Ha! Try and struggle as hard as you like. The duty of wardens is to protect inmates. We are also your collaborators. That is, if you remain obedient. I shall explain the roles of these two at another occasion. Now then, it seems the night is waning. It is almost time. Take your time to slowly come to understand this place. We will surely meet again, eventually. Time's up! Now hurry up and go back to sleep! So right now we can only see the Velvet Room in our dreams, but eventually we will be able to go there freely. I'm looking forward to it, because like I said, it's a huge help later on. And Sunday, it's now our finally our weekend. I had a strange dream. Ruin? Rehabilitation? What does it mean? Hey. Looks like you're up. Well. Well then. Let's go introduce ourselves properly to the staff about your threat to transfer. The school you're attending is in the Aoyaba District. It'll cost you a bit to ride the train there, and the route transfers are a pain. I'll drive you there, but just for today. Let's go. Jeez. Jeez. Men don't usually aren't usually allowed in my passenger seat. Do me a favor and behave yourself, all right? Don't get me wrong. I don't care what happens to you. Just don't cause me any trouble. Man, we just transferred here. We ain't gonna start shit on our first day. To reiterate, just so we're clear, you will immediately be expelled if you cause any problems. Honestly, I hesitated on accepting someone like you. But there were some circumstances on our side. You might have done a variety of things in hiding in your hometown. But you will behave yourself here. If you are thrown out from our school, there will be no place for you to go. Keep that in mind. This is the teacher in charge of your class. I'm Sadayo Kawakami. Here's your student ID. Be sure to read the school rules. Any violations will send you straight to the guidance office. And if by chance you cause any problems, I won't be able to protect you at all. That is your promise, yes, Principal Kobayakawa? 
Mm hmm He is responsible for all his actions. But really, though? Why me? There should have been better candidates. It was a sudden transfer, and your class was the only one that had an opening. If you're done explaining things, mind if we get going? I got a store to get back to. Sakura-san, please keep a close eye on him. Don't let him cause any trouble outside. Well, I'll be sure to have a serious talk about the situation he's in. <sighs> Come to the faculty office when you arrive at school tomorrow. I'll show you to your classroom. Man, we haven't even attended to school and the teachers don't even care about us. <laughs> no way, everyone seems to be giving us shit. It's kind of a bad situation for me, for our protagonist. They treat me like such a nu nuisance. I guess that's what it means to have a criminal record. Turns out your past follows you wherever you go. By the way, if you get expelled now, I won't hesitate to kick you out. Got it? I think I'll scrape by. <clears throat> I could save us all a little time and just kick you out now if you're gonna be. That's gonna be your attitude. School never changes, huh? Hey. Come on, we're going home. What a troublesome situation. I can't believe they pushed someone with a record on me. A male teacher would be better suited for this. Why in the world was someone like that admitted here? Who knows? It was the principal's decision. I was told that it's for the school's reputation. I would have thought that my volleyball team has contributed more than enough to cover that. That's certainly true. Be careful, okay? Then again, if anything were to happen, I'd kick out a student like that right away. Well, I keep wishing that he'd just end up not coming to school. Still, that isn't something I should be saying as a teacher. Well, I should be returning to practice. Oh, right. The tournament's coming up, isn't it? <laughs> Having such high expectations placed on you by others is quite a problem in itself. We'll have to work hard to make up for the track team, too. Yes, that's true. This Kawakami doesn't seem to be actually like her job as a teacher. Class? At least she doesn't seem to want to and, you know, she doesn't seem to care about her students that much. Oh, traffic's not moving at all. You're taking the train starting tomorrow. So, how was it? The school, I mean. Think you can manage? I don't know. I only saw the teachers. I haven't been there for a day yet. Eh, we'll see. Now listen up. Don't even think of doing anything stupid. Still, you were expelled once already. To think you'd re-enroll at a different one. It's not like anyone will be sympathetic with you. That's what it was like at school. People might say stuff about me in the future, too. What a troublesome kid I've taken in. Why did you take me in or we can stay silent? I, I'm actually kind of curious why he took us in. He's got no relationship to us. I was asked to do it, and I just happened to agree to it. Uh, I've already been paid for it, too, after all. Yeah. A subway has derailed at Shibuya Station, greatly affecting the timetable all across the... Oh, another accident. So that's why it's so crowded. There's been a lot of those lately. from the accident. According to the police, the engineer's life was not in danger despite his injuries. After questioning, even he could not explain his high speed when approaching the station. No further comments were made. Police are still looking for a plausible motive.
It's less of an operating accident and more of a crime of the company and the government. Site inspectors apparently reported all of this six months ago. The deterioration of the tracks and the ATC. Seems a railway company and the Ministry of Transport both turned a blind eye to the truth. There's no way they can hide. This will go all the way to the top. Now on to our main story. With this derailment accident, as well as other recent incidents of unknown motive, concern is spreading among the general public. Just what could be causing such a drastic change so suddenly in these people? SNN has Everything's linked. That's what you're thinking, correct? Hmm. Oh well. Are you free? You and I haven't gone for a drink in a while. Thank you, sir. But I have another meeting to attend. I must be going. I was I was ready to go for this meeting, and that's when this extremely fast train just came crashing in. Oh man, I thought I was gonna die. A noisy subway platform filled with people was suddenly. Did you ask for me? Is it a case? Not quite. I want your opinion on something. Sure. Your judgment is quite often correct, though. Can we discuss this over sushi, perhaps? You are making a student work late, after all. Conveyor belt only. Huh. So, I'm, I'm guessing just from that, we are going to have another high school detective situation, huh? I mean... High schooler working for the prosecutor's office. Eh. Jeez. Damn, to think to do that much traffic. What a waste of time. Wasn't able to open a cafe today. Well. Whatever. Fine. Just head upstairs. There's something I need to give to you. Talk about a gruesome accident. 80 people were involved. It's a diary. Make sure you write in it. You may be under probation, but there's no special limitations on what you do in particular. Besides following the law, that is. However, I'm obligated to report on you, which is why I'm having you record your daily activities. Hey, what's up? I'm about to leave right now. Don't worry. I'll be there in no time. Uh huh? I'll see you soon. Well, I'm off. I'll lock the place up. So do whatever you want for the rest of the night. Oh, but don't mess up my store. If something goes missing, I'll hand you right over to the cops. You got school tomorrow. You better head off to bed, all right? She do as I'm told for now. should write down what happened today in my diary. You can save your game by pressing the options button. When you see the button command in the lower left, you can save at any time. Okay, I have an early day tomorrow, I should rest up. And so we've had our introduction to not only our caretaker, but the school we'll be going to, in which tomorrow we will go to our first day. But for now, Let's I'm gonna end the video here. Hopefully you guys are enjoying, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.